Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from 1001 Sandwiches in 1936, we're going to be making the Spalding Sandwich. First thing we have to do is cut the crust off white bread. Double turns! Spalding! Now we butter our bread, and because you can never have enough dairy, now we put on cream cheese. Now we take stuffed olives that have been cut lengthwise and place them under the bed. That's right, I said bed. Now we're to cut this in thirds right through the middle of the olives. Maybe not thirds. <laughs> okay, let's give this Spalding sandwich a go. I mean, it's a green olive and cream cheese sandwich. <laughs> it's just like any other green olive and cream cheese sandwich I've made from an old recipe, except that it's cut differently and arranged differently. It's not bad, but I do want to plus it up with something. Since we're already dairied out, let's add some more with some Stilton blue cheese. Okay, let's give this Spalding sandwich, AKA green olive and cream cheese sandwich, plus up with Stilton blue cheese a go. I love the combination of green olives and blue cheese. In fact, when I have a martini on the weekend, that's my go-to, stuffing the blue cheese into the green olives. Uh, I eat the pimentos, but I take them out. Uh, this is delicious now, I think. It was tasty before, even tastier now. All right, so the original Spalding sandwich, uh, basically stuffed green olives and cream cheese sandwich, it was fine, it was tasty. Uh, I'm gonna give that probably like five and a half, six, plus up with a little Stilton blue cheese, Sure, it uh, further clogged my arteries, but it was delicious. I'm going to give that a 7. <laughs> I am definitely going to finish that because there's not a lot left. And uh, I might make this again as sort of like a snack. It would be really good at a cocktail party. All right, see you tomorrow. Oh.